Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Today we will calculate theoretical density of metal. So we will calculate the theoretical density for copper today. We know that uh, copper has FCC uh, crystal structure, right? The crystal structure is FCC for copper and the atomic radius is given here. The atomic radius for copper is 0 0.128 nanometer is the atomic radius and we know the atomic weight the atomic weight is also given the atomic weight of copper it is 63.5 gram per mole 63.5 gram per mole so we have this information and we need to calculate the theoretical density of copper now we know that density is equal to mass per unit volume here we will calculate the theoretical density from the unit cell we need to find the mass of atom in a unit cell divided by the volume of the unit cell now unit cell different types of unit cell has different uh, number of atoms and we know we have discussed in the previous video the uh, structure of the crystalline solid that FCC has four atom so it is it has FCC crystal structure and FCC has four atom so first let us find what is the mass of each atom of copper then we will find the mass of four atoms divided by the volume so we know here that 63.5 grams is the mass of one mole of copper atom so how we can find the mass of one uh, atom right so we know that 63.5 gram is equal to 1 mole of copper. Now we also know that in 1 mole of copper, how many atoms are there? 1 mole of copper or any atom, how many atoms are there? We call it a Vigadro number, we represent it with Na. And this Na is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms. So we can write this that 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms are equal to 63 gram. Right? So 63.5 gram is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms. So one atom is equal to x, just cross multiply and we will get this x is equal to, we can find easily the mass of one atom, it will be 63.5 divided by 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23. So this is what, this is, we will get the mass of one atom and we can even generalize this, the mass of one atom. that will be equal to this is the atomic mass of any here we have copper and in this case it could be any if it is copper if it is aluminium if it is gold whatever is it so take the atomic mass divide by the Avogadro number it will give you the mass of one atom right so atomic mass divided by Avogadro number this will give you the mass of one atom now here is mass per unit volume but mass of what of unit cell so in a unit cell of fcc how many atoms are there four atoms we have discussed this in the previous video also so this mass it will be equal to n number of atoms in a unit cell multiplied by atomic mass of atom in this case it is uh, copper divided by Avogadro number, Na. Divide by volume of the unit cell. Now, we can find the mass easily from this one. We need to calculate the volume. So what is the volume of the unit cell of FCC? We know that FCC has four atoms, right? And FCC, if we you have seen it looks like this you see 
So this is one side of the cube. Consider this one is a full cube, right? So volume will be equal to how? To, to, to how we can calculate the volume. Let's say this side is equal to A. As it is a cube, this side is also A. So every side is equal to A. Now we need to find volume in terms of radius because we know the radius of atom, the copper atom. We don't know this whole side A, but we can calculate the volume in terms of radius, right? And this one we have done before, but let us do it uh, again. Now look here. If we take one face of the FCC, how we can find the volume? It is A cube. We know that the volume is A cube, right? This volume is equal to A cube. But A we don't have. But we have R, radius we have. So it is better to find in uh, terms of R, right? So let's say this is, a, we know that this is one atom. This is another, this is another, this is another, this is one uh, full atom. But this is one over eighth of the atom. But this is one r from here to here. This is one the, the, the radius of one atom. And here we have this is the radius of another atom. And this is full atom in the center. So we have two r here. So if we make a triangle from here to here and then the center line here. This side is a, this side is also a. So it is a right angle triangle. We can write from this right angle triangle that this a square plus this a square plus a square is equal to r plus 2r plus r. 4r square. This is the trigonometry, you know this, right? So if you solve this for a, a is equal to here, you have to solve this, and this A is equal to 2R square root of 2. This is 1A, one side, right? So volume will be equal to what? Volume of copper here, which is FCC, we can write VC here. This will be equal to A cube, and A is equal to this. So you write 2R square root of 2 and this whole Q. So this is the volume of unit cell of FCC. So what we will do, now we will bring this and we put here instead of volume. So we have 2 R square root of 2 whole Q. And this one, if you further simplify, we can write this one, this 2R, if 2 cube is equal to 8, and it will be R cube, and you can put here square root of 2 cube also. But in book you will see they have written like this, look. This is 2 cube, R cube, square root of 2 cube. So you will get here 8 times r cube times we can write this square root like this and one square root of two so what we can get from this this will get cancelled with this one and two multiplied by eight is equal to 16 and r cube is there and this one square root will live so 16 r cube like this is the simplified form of the volume. So this volume we put it here again. Now here the, 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 the Avogadro number is in the denominator. So bring it down and this final formula will look how. N A which is the atomic mass divided by put this 16 r cube 16 r cube square root of 2 multiplied by this Avogadro number n a bring it down so using this formula we can find the theoretical density of copper uh, which has the fcc crystal structure so now we can easily find the theoretical density let us uh, just substitute uh, the value right so density is equal to density is equal to n 
the number of atoms. So in FCC, how many atoms are there? Four. Four atoms are there. Atoms in one unit cell. You can write even atom per unit cell. Right? Multiplied by the atomic mass. And atomic mass is what? 63.5 gram per mole. Divide by this volume and the Avogadro uh, number. So volume is what? 16 R cube square root of 2. This is the, the volume. But R is what? Let us put the value of R here, right? So let us put the value of R. Now we know the radius, right? It is 0 0.128 nanometer. But we will find the density in gram per centimeter cube. So we have to convert this one into centimeter, right? So we can write this 16 and square root of 2. It was already there. And this R cube, I have to write. So 0 0.128 nanometer. If you convert this into centimeter, we can write 1.28 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 centimeter we can write right so this one is the volume volume of what the, of the one unit cell right this is the volume of one unit cell this is the volume of one unit cell and multiplied by na the Avogadro number Avogadro number is 6.22022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atom per mole. Atom per mole. So now you just do the calculation and using the calculator you will get density. Look, this atoms uh, in unit cell it will get cancelled here with the unit cell and atom will get cancelled here with atom. We have mole, it will get cancelled with mole. So we will have gram only at the top and below we will have centimeter. And remaining all these things, you just put it in calculator, you will get the theoretical density. And that value is 8.89 gram per centimeter cube. Because here there is cube, right? It was R cube, right? So this is 1.28 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter and whole cube. So you put the cube there also. So the theoretical density is 8.89 gram per centimeter cube. Now the actual density, you can check it and tell me what is the actual density of copper, right? And it will be very close to the theoretical density. This is how we calculate the theoretical density of copper. So that's it from this video. See you in this next video.